Hey everyone, it's Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today we had a question on the group that I thought I would answer through a video step-by-step -step as it seems to make a little bit more sense than the instructions just typed out. So it is a layer design. They were working with Glitter HTV, which cannot be layered and successfully layered for a long period of time. So I'm first just going to come out. They were using a name. So I'm just going to type out my name and then I'm going to add some color here so we can see it a little bit better. And I'll make this a little bit bigger. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the textile panel. Um, be patient with your textile panel. The more fonts you have, the longer it will take to open. I'm just going to come up here to a font I just recently used as I was testing this. And then I'm going to make a copy of my original text because now I also need to weld this so that it will cut as one piece. So I'm going to right click and choose weld. And then I'm going to right click again or use control G and choose group. And my computer's running here just a little bit. Not sure why it disappeared, but right click, choose group. And then I have my start of my design. Now the first thing I need to want to do is this was a an offset of the text. So I'm going to come over here to the offset panel on the right hand side. Whoops, wrong panel. Offset is your star panel. I'm going to choose offset and the size of your offset is going to vary depending on your text or your design. I'm just going to simply choose apply for this demonstration and then we need one more. So there was an offset that was a frame around this design. So I'm going to choose offset again and that will work for our purpose. So I'm just going to go ahead and click apply. Now, in order to make this a frame, if I come in here and I add color to each of these layers, what you're going to see is that each of these is a on a separate, um, it is stacked on, underneath each other. So your lighter purple, let's change this to a different color. Your blue is underneath your purple, which is black is on top of everything. What I want to do is I want to select the blue layer, or the outer layer, hold my shift key down and click on that purple layer. So there's two, the two offsets are selected. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose make compound path. That is going to take it from two layers. It's going to make it into one frame layer. Depending on your design, you may have little bits and pieces in here. That's going to be just fine for what we're working with right here. I'm just simply going to change this to a blue color. And then what we're going to do is this had offsets that were stacked below the design. So I'm simply going to recreate that. So what first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my alt key down and I'm going to drag a copy away of this. So I have the original if I need to go back to it. And then I'm going to make a copy, hold my alt key down, simply drag this down to where I want it to be. So in this case, I'm going to change this color so we can see it a little bit better. And currently, when I made that offset, it is on top of everything. I'm going to right click and choose send to back. Now this bottom offset, we just want this part that shows on the bottom. So one way you can get only that is I'm going to click on the blue, hold my shift key down, click on the yellow layer, and then I'm going to come over here to the modify panel. I'm going to choose subtract all. That is going to subtract all of the blue area from the yellow. So I'm going to move this away so it's easier to work with and to see. Now all I need is this bottom section here. So I am going to right click on this, choose release compound path. Nothing seems to happen but it did. It broke the design up but first I need to ungroup. Now you can see there's individual selection boxes around everything. All I need to keep is this bottom portion since it's all one piece here. I'm going to hold my shift key down. I'm going to click on that bottom portion to deselect it. Now I'm going to press delete on my keyboard. Now I have this piece that fits in like a puzzle. Since the original design is HTV anyhow, you're going to have to cut each of the pieces out of that design. Now there was a several more layers of colors. So I'm simply going to hold my alt key down, make another copy. This is one way. So you can continue to make copies this way. So let's just change the color here and do this one more time. If you want it to be the exact same and then you will have to account for any shrink 
when you are working with HTV. So if you, you can test it this way, you may need to make some offsets if you don't want the shrink or make sure you're just tacking your material down for two seconds to remove that carrier sheet. You will have to test with your materials. Now you could cut out each of these pieces from whatever material that you are looking for. I'm just gonna change these colors here. We'll do the colors of the rainbow to make it red, orange, yellow. It would depend on the material. Red, orange, yellow, green. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Um, it would depend on the material you are cutting it out of on whether you could actually layer it or not. But here is a way that you can subtract from that bottom layer so that you are not layering for materials such as glitter, HTV. Hope those tips have helped. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.